And now that Rhode Island's COVID-19 data is trending down, hospitals and nursing homes were given the go ahead to ease visitation restrictions. The health department announced they can accept visitors beginning today. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni spoke to a woman who has a mother in a nursing home about these changes. Anita. Well, you may remember Sheila O'Connell. She shared the briefing stage with Governor Gina Raimondo in November when visitation at nursing homes was still restricted. Now she's glad she can visit her mother in person, but it's not exactly how she'd like it to be. It's across the board a good thing for everyone. Sheila O'Connell can now visit her 90 year old mother at the nursing home she lives in. It was a difficult road to get to this point, but she is grateful she can see her elderly mother in person. However, the visitation isn't back to normal. Her mother is brought into a common area to visit with her daughter and not in her private room. If you've got a room with, you know, eight people in it, that's that's, you know, six more people than I prefer to be exposed to. There is a lack of privacy and her mother is exposed to more people, but O'Connell explained it's better than nothing. Hospitals are also allowed to ease visitation restrictions, but not all hospitals in the state are allowing it. Care New England, the hospital group that includes women and infants, Kent and Butler, is not lifting current visitor restrictions at this time, but Lifespan is allowing two visitors for adult patients for 30 minute visits beginning February 22nd. That hospital group includes Miriam, Newport and Rhode Island Hospital. Hospital visitors will also have to be screened for signs and symptoms of COVID-19 upon entry. Now South County and Westerly hospitals are also allowing visitation. As for Care New England, the spokesperson says they will update their website when they change their visitation policy. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. Today, Rhode Island is once again allowing visitors at hospitals and nursing homes, but 12 News has learned not all hospitals are adhering to the new guidance. Anita Buffoni spoke to various hospitals in the state, then tells us what she's learned. If you have a loved one at a hospital in Rhode Island, you can now visit them, but that's not the case for all hospitals. Care New England says they are not lifting their visitation restrictions just yet. Care New England, one of the largest hospital groups in Rhode Island, is not yet opening up visitation. This is despite the Department of Health easing visitation restrictions on hospitals and nursing homes. Hospitals under Care New England include women and infants, Kent and Butler Hospital. A spokesperson said the hospital group does not intend to lift current visitor restrictions at this time, but you can visit loved ones at lifespan hospitals, including Rhode Island and Miriam, beginning February 22nd. We are extremely grateful and we're pleased that our data is in such a, a component of this response now that we're able to move forward with opening visitations. Nursing homes and assisted living facilities that haven't had a positive case within 14 days can also resume visitation. You may remember Sheila O'Connell from a briefing back in November when she detailed the struggles with having loved ones in nursing homes during the pandemic. Now she is grateful she can see her mother in person again. But even though she can go visit, she says they must take place in a common area of the facility. There's no privacy. It's they do the best they can, you know, given the situation and trying to be safe, but it's not it's not normalcy. But O'Connell explained even though she can't visit her mother in her private room, it's better than nothing. Now, Westerly and South County hospitals are also allowing visitation. All hospital visitors must follow COVID-19 protocols. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.